Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today I want to show you the city generator add-on that you can use to generate amazing cities like this in a very quick time. So let's uh, dive in and uh, get started. So uh, to get this uh, city generator, you just have to go to maps.probableterrain.com and uh, you can see it's uh, just a simple script uh, that allows you to generate different uh, cities or city maps uh, that you can import into Blender and uh, use them as you want. Yeah, so let's see how to use it and uh, yeah. So the first thing you want to do is go to the this uh, website. I'll be leaving a link in the description and then find the generator link. And if you want, you can read through the description to see how it works or what's new or whatever. Uh, but uh, if you want to run the generator, you just click on the run button here and uh, then it should take you to the script. Uh, you will see this uh, kind of scary grid, uh, but uh, don't worry about that. All you have to do is just hit the generate button and it will generate uh, a random city grid with all the buildings uh, that you want. Uh, right there. Uh, you can see that uh, you might be wondering how this doesn't really look like a 3D map but uh, yeah, all you have to do is go to the download section and download the STL file that you can import into Blender. But uh, before we do that let me just show you a few uh, customization you can use to make your city look custom. Uh, so if you want to generate a different map you just hit you just have to hit generate again uh, to get a different uh, map or different random map but uh, you can also go in and start tweaking at a different uh, properties that you see here on your left on your right uh, side here uh, let's uh, first go to the map our uh, generator here and uh, we can start by uh, generating everything that will inc include our uh, roads major roads main roads and uh, lakes rivers if you want any and uh, the building as well but uh, if you want you can start uh, by generating the terrain uh, that includes the water and uh, the other parts of the of the map can see postal stuff you can just play around with settings and uh, every time you change a setting you can hit generate and uh, you should see something you, you can hit generate and I see different results so I'm going to increase the noise result here and you can see that will give me a different map a bit of noise uh, to it and uh, if we go to the main uh, this will generate uh, the main the main roads and, uh, these are the major major main roads uh, that uh, will bring uh, your peep, uh, the cars into the city and uh, if you want to add in uh, these are some parameters you can uh, play with uh, but if you want some major roads uh, those smaller roads that divide your city in you can just click uh, the generate and uh, it should add in uh, those roads you want if you hit generate again it will try to randomize uh, that again giving you different designs every time uh, you can also check out the different parameters there you also have minor roads this will divide a uh, bit uh, between different streets. Uh, these are the smaller streets uh, that are going to go between uh, different buildings or from one building to another. So if you generate those, you can see what we get. We get those are smaller, smaller roads. And uh, then we have some parks. If you want to generate those, you can increase uh, the number of smaller and uh, bigger parks. Now, the last thing you have you can do is uh, add in some buildings. So you just have to click the add and I see that uh, the, the the blocks start dividing themselves into different buildings and different and again if you hit generate again it will give you a different uh, type of buildings uh, let me just see okay these are parks building i need to hit the building and every time you hit uh, add buildings it will try to generate a different set of buildings for you uh, again you can change spacing minimum area change number of divides uh, the style this is for if you just want to use a 2d map uh, instead of a 3D, so you don't have to worry about this. And see if it can give you an apple theme, uh, apple deck, assassin, and even have a Google map uh, style. But uh, this is not really something you should worry about as it's uh, meant for only 2D use. But uh, if you want to export this into Blender, all you have to go is uh, to the download section and find the download the STL file uh, for you. Let's just allow that and uh, it will download. So if we look at the zip file, it will include a lot of different uh, STL files. You can see we have uh, the blocks, uh, buildings, coastline, domain, river, uh, roads, a sea and everything. So you just want to import all of them. Let me show you how to do that. So let's open up a Blender file. I'll just... Uh... So you just have to go under file, import STL and then navigate to your model or whatever you, where you have downloaded uh, the uh, 
download so uh, then select everything and then hit import uh, that should import your entire city uh, like so and you have your city now everything that is left to do is just adding some texturing which i'm going to show you how to do in the uh, time lapse